No matter what you tell yourself, you can only do your best. No matter how high you think you failed or how low you think you succeeded. Wait, yes, kind of. You can only do what you can do. You need to accept that your best is good enough. On our path, we spend a lot of time reflecting in anxious ways, thinking about the things that we've done that we could have done better. Well, you could have done better. Sure, maybe. You can't do anything about it. What you need to do is know and approach each day that you're going to do your best, that you're going to try your hardest to do everything you can to make your day be what you want it to be and to feel accomplished, to feel like you've gotten back what you've given in and to feel that sense of pride to know that you've done your day the way you want it done. No matter whether it's a day of resting, a day of work, a day of play or a day of whatever, you gave your best, you gave it 100%. Even if you'd never got out of bed, you tried, you thought about it, you beat yourself over it and you didn't need to because you're trying. That's the important thing. You are doing everything you can. If you're laying there, if you're laying there and you're just going, yeah, I don't care. Okay. That's a path you can take. It's not the path I choose, but it's a path for some. If you lay there and you go, oh man, I really wish I could get out of bed and I could go do the dishes and I can clean up the living room and then I could wash the car, and then I could go to the grocery store, and you might have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> and you may be having an executive function issue. I think that's how that's defined. At least that's what I'm told. But what it is, is you're still wanting to do that. You're still, if your brain would let you get out of bed and do that, you would do that. Now, when it does let you get out of bed, you do your best. A lot of us with ADHD, we kind of overcompensate and become a tornado to try and make up for all the work we didn't get done while our brain was making us sit there and review all the things we should have been doing at the moment. And it, it's, it's kind of a cycle that's really hard to break. And I'm not even saying it can be broken. What it is is a reminder that no matter what your brain is doing to you on that, as long as you know that you did your best, you gave it your best effort, you did what you could with what you had. You have to accept that you are not, although most there, there are some that are, and I'm not saying you're not, okay, maybe not, all powerful, omniscient, super being that can name, do, see, feel everything all at the same time. Well, I mean, we all, it's that whole feel everything at the same time. We won't go into that. But you don't know it all. You can't do it all. You don't have unlimited energy. You don't have the ability. You are human just like me. What you can do is make the best of what you do have. Once again, we're back to intention. Intention is what drives us. What do you want to do? Okay, my intention is to do this. What, what steps are you gonna take to do it? There are things that we can do that will help us. Are you taking the steps to help yourself move forward? Are you doing all the things that help make you successful? If you don't have any things that make you successful, find some, learn about it, research, do the work. If that's what you want, you don't have to. But if you want to change, you have to do the work. You have to do at least one thing, if not a bunch of things differently than you have done from before. Things that you have never done, things that are brand new have to occur, have to happen for those changes to take place. And it's part of the best effort because you keep moving forward. It's that giving 100%. My God, Pan, expects me to give my best effort. I give absolutely 100% that I can to him every day. I get breaks. I get rests. I take self-care moments because those are also important to making sure that I'm a functioning human being. I'm not a machine. I deserve rest. I deserve joy, ecstasy. What it comes down to is when I look and I see what I've done, I see how I've acted, I need to accept and not judge. I need to accept that I gave 100% of my best effort with the moment I had. I look and I take myself and I go, I did not take any lazy routes. I did not do anything that was the easy way out. I did things the way that I felt they should be done with all the knowledge I had at the moment. 
And no matter what knowledge I have now, that's what I had then. And I have to accept myself, my past self, as having done what it could do with what it had. If I don't feel that it was the right amount of effort, I could have done something better, then I do that next time. That's all you can do. Do better next time. Change. You don't have to do the exact same thing to do better. You can change and do it better that way. Sometimes doing better means putting in less effort. Sometimes it means putting in more effort. Sometimes instead of fixing my partner's problem after she tells me that these things are going on, I don't, my, I'm trained to fix everything. Well, maybe the best thing is just to go, oh, that's really a pain in the ass. That sucks you're having to go through that. How, what can I do? Is there anything I can do? How can I support you? I'm listening. And you're right. That is shitty. That's the best I can do at that moment. Not beat myself because I can't go out and solve her problem like a great warrior. It's accepting your situation and knowing that you are doing your best. Knowing that you are trying and knowing you are making the best choices that you can. And if you need to make better choices, do it. We don't always make the right choices the first time. We generally get uh, second chances if we make the wrong choice. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening. I'm Morgan Hornman. Like, share, leave a comment below. Follow me. May the Lord and Lady be ever in your hearts. Praise be to Pan. And blessed be. I hope to see you soon. Peace.